Morning. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a long time. I've not been here. Today I'm happy. I'm seeing faces. I'm seeing smiles. And I'm meeting friends. But we have a God who sees the hearts. How many hearts? How many hearts are here? Five, there's more. I haven't counted, but maybe I think there's probably maybe 50 hearts. I have no idea how your hearts are. Maybe your hearts are hurting. Scratch. Maybe your hearts are hurting a little bit. Maybe your hearts you feel a little bit. A little bit you feel empty. Maybe you're seeking. Maybe you feel all right with struggles. But maybe you're halfway. And maybe you are full of joy and happiness. Yesterday, driving from PG, we noticed that it is not myself that is protecting. It is not a person's idea that we get safe. I, for the first time, that I truly, almost, I had a collision. Every, every, everybody in the van was scared. I couldn't help it. We're driving in the mountains. It's just like normal. Normally, I go fast. It was taking it easy. All of a sudden, up on the hill, I was coming down. The other line was coming up. There was one man. I don't know what he was dreaming, and he overtook. Me, I have a few inches. Good enough to have. But my heart, and all the boys. on the righteous, on the Christians, and God is watching on the non-Christians. There's a verse that says that God, He allows rain, blessings, for the Christian, and God, He gives rain to the non-Christians. God knows the hearts, and He knows what you need now. I don't know. Today, I'm not using this. I'll try to explain it clear. And my desire is that your hearts, wherever they are, that they can receive. If it's a pain, then it could be soothed. If there's a problem, then we could understand there's a way out. Um, ask Ronald to help me. Can you come and help me? Whose chairs are these? See the eyes? Okay. Stand up.
And one more. <laughs> There's only one problem. We need Ronald to be fat. That's all fine. We'll imagine that we know, we'll imagine that Ronald has big arms. Big hands. His legs are big. <laughs> so we'll imagine he's big. He has the responsibility to overcome him. Okay. You know the story. Just just be patient. You know the story. Class was just slightly starting with the story. David and Goliath. And I want us to think what happened. Okay, he has a steel sheet around which weighs. You can go ahead and stand here. I love this one. He has a steel plate on him that weighs 125 pounds. Who is 125? 125, roughly? How much? You don't know. Everybody doesn't know. Okay. All right. One, one more example. The water gallons. Blue. Water. He, he has three. One, two, three. Heavy protection. 125 pounds, that means three. That steel around him. He has a spear that weighs. Let me check. He has a spear of steel that weighs full of water, three, heavy. You are the Israelites. You are the Israelites. Pharaoh is the king. He knows that he is responsible to fight him. Daily, daily, Goliath. Imagine, he. Bay. And he walks out. And he says, You! Come on! Show me! Come on! Pedro is the king. The instant that he hears his voice, he says, And he looks at his spear. Bay! What would happen? <laughs> Easy. But he demands, come on, if you are afraid, no problem. Slaves. Easy. There's one young man. He's not here. But he is at home. Number one, number two, he's humble. Number three, he is smart. He knows the fightings. We, now we hear of war, Ukraine, Russia. What do you do? I know. I know you're doing. You're curious. Each one is curious. He is curious. But his father has said, leave. He has no idea what is happening. Daily, daily. He's curious. What's happening? What's happening? It's fine. He goes and he works. Care. He's obedient. 
he wishes to see, he wants, he goes, he goes, one day is that you, tomorrow, food, cheese, it says five cheese, get it ready, and go. He knows tomorrow, walk, all alone. Dad tells him, brother, no, alone, far, hot. He needs to walk. But what does he do? He smiles. And the Bible says, early in the morning, he does not. No, early, he gets up. And he walks, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know. When he gets in, he smiles and he greets. He's happy, positive, and joyful with a heart full, not dispersed. He walks, but he hears. And he says, What's this? And he looks at the king. He hears the voice. My body is so small. He is comparing. He is imagining me. He sees a problem. You understand? This is a problem. His spear, heavy, the king imagines. He sees a problem. Small, easy problem? No. This was a serious, great problem. And the king cried. The soldiers, they're afraid. Every, every morning, they're ready for breakfast. They're afraid. They don't mind. Compare. Can he? Can he? word that he says no he's cursing God it hurt him because he loved God they their minds think about God no they heard the word daily that he's cursing God cursing God and they Ain't nothing. He walks up. No! God! He thinks. How does God feel? And he says, No! Wrong! He's cursing God. And these soldiers, there's one, his brother. He gets up and he says, You! You're wrong. You're a kid. Go home. You're proud. You think. He is insulted. He was innocent. And his brother was wrong. And he said, You're proud. And he feels. Obeying 
bathroom. He was worried about God. And now you're telling me I'm wrong? But again, his mind looked to God. He is cursing God. We cannot cursing God. Notice this. He has a scar. He has told me there's a scar. He walks up to the king and he says, King, it's wrong. He is cursing God. We need to kill him. And the king, in his eyes, My face looks so small. I can't. And he says, King, I, at home, I have experienced there was a lie. And me, nothing. Me. second scar because the king is saying you can't you're a kid you can't look he's so small you cannot and he is so tall there was a second scar finally the king says okay <laughs> and the king Jesus' name, 
Today, I will. Your head. Did he believe him? He was proud. His brother. He takes the rock. His heart. Nothing. Nothing. saw the king. He remembered the words that he had told me that the vultures were going to eat me. His heart. They and his brother told him sorry. Told him sorry. Nothing. Had Goliath Told him sorry. Not yet. Did the king tell him sorry? Not at all. But David's wife was here. Why? This world is full of people. Some hearts are broken because some hearts are broken because parents some hearts are broken some hearts are broken because there's no friends. Some of you feel there's no friends. Who enjoys pain? Who has pain? Who has pain? All of us. Why was they so lucky? Why? And you and I keep living in bondage. Why? look at the story and we're jealous. We wish to be like him. We wish to be over. I know right now your mind are turning back. You now you're in mind. Your mind. Was 
David's brother right? Was David's brother right? David's brother said, you are proud. You are nosy. The king saying, you are a kid, was wrong. Goliath saying, cursing God, was wrong. Why? How did David's heart heal? I'm speaking about pain. It's not that I think only that. No, I know that Spanish, well, German people, they have pains in their hearts. I know. I don't know your feeling, but I know there's so many people, myself, that prefers to hold on to pain. David, this Goliath here, this Goliath, who was he? Tell me, who was he? Who was he? He was Goliath. Goliath or who was he? He was Goliath. Who was he? Who? Who? What did he do? What did he do? He cursed God. Okay? He was proud. He insulted. King Saul, he saw Goliath and he saw him and he saw a huge and you saw the wrong almost touched him almost almost. King Saul, he looked at him and he said Oh. I'm so small. David, he looked at him and he said, Ah, oh, he and God, he's small. King Saul, he says, Goliath is tall. David, he says, Goliath is small. Who is lying? Which one is lying? Okay. The king, he says, Goliath is powerful. David, he says, ah, he was God. Ah, he's weak. Why? Who is lying? Oh. Maybe. The truth is, your problems in life, my problems in life, your temptations in life, 
my temptations. You have a choice. Maybe there's a friend that comes up to you and you have a choice. You think Or, you think, oh, well, I'm sorry. worries. Maybe you feel problem. Maybe your responsibility. You feel responsibility. You look at the line. Or you think responsibility? Oh, there is God. You cannot. You cannot feel God's here. You feel problem, problem. You feel. You feel problem. But you know God's here. We must. Take our feelings. Self hatred. Hate. I'm doing. Say, I'm. Hate myself. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. We do not fight with bodies. With your eyes, you saw the example of Goliath, a person. 
You and I, we do not continue to go and fight. You and I, we do not, like David, find a rock. No. You and I, in our hearts, we have a war, the enemy. Today, we do not need strong bodies. We do not need beautiful faces. We do not need muscles. We need our hearts to be strong. Because now, the true fight is, we hear stories of Russia, Ukraine. We hear stories, bodies. That's not the point. The point is, you and I, we are experiencing pains, temptations, the devil in our hearts. You and I, we have the devil right here. This is alarm. You and I, we are not about person. No. Let us clearly remember, each one, some have a war of feeling. Some have a war of sin, following sin. Some have a war. David, David, he heard his brother saying, I'm proud. What would have happened? What would have happened? Think. He would. First time, he had a choice. He felt like running, but he decided, no, God, he is cursing God. The king, no, God. The third time, if they had decided to flee because 
go home, go live. that we are fighting in our hearts feelings. You and I, we cannot wait future, never finish. No. You will again, 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 again experience. You will. Only one the pain of sin and take it out. And you can experience very much. Let us be 